after Elon Musk's SpaceX successfully launched astronauts to International Space Station. It proved all world that private players can also carry out heavy space tasks in fraction of cost compared to that of government entities. Since then, everyone is looking for cheaper alternative solutions to their space program. Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO's announcement of privatization is the recent example of how government agencies are trying to outsource heavy workload to private companies in order to reduce the cost. And remember, ISRO's most of the operations are really very, very cheap compared to subsequent missions by NASA or European space agencies. And now, we got the news from Pakistan. Yes, Pakistan has launched its first private space company. Pakistan really had very good space program back in 60s when they launched Rayber 1 and Rayber 2 rocket probes in close cooperation with NASA. Despite of such a great head start, Pakistan's space program, Super Echo, kind of went on hold. They also faced sanctions in 90s from United States and European countries for making missiles instead of developing rockets for peaceful research. Till date, Pakistan don't have their own spaceport and they are launching their satellites from Chinese launch facilities. With all these challenges, the rocket and satellite company Limited from Pakistan have announced that they have registered with Securities and Exchange Commission, Government of Pakistan. The company is planning to offer low-cost solutions in three main areas space launch systems, satellite manufacturing, and ground segment as service. Considering that Pakistan don't have its own space port, it will be interesting to know how they will be offering space launch systems. At the moment, we don't have much information about the company besides name of its founder and CEO, Sami Ullah Khan. On his LinkedIn profile, it is written that he has completed space systems engineering from MIT in 2018. But no information is provided about the rest of employees from the company. Also, company's official website just looks like this. With the present conditions of country space launch facilities and information available from the company, it's more likely that they will focus on satellite manufacturing at the moment. Building launch facility from the scratch takes huge research and money of course. So it might take longer than we expect. But anyways, it's a good start and hope so that they'll soon announce rock solid plan for achieving their motives. If anyone is trying to do something good for humanity by doing research in science and technology, especially from countries like Pakistan which has huge potential but desperately needs some changes in infrastructure. It's a yes from me. Now it's your turn to start a war in comment section and tell us which country has the best space agency in the world. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, just give a huge thumbs up for me and subscribe to Science Today.